Hi guys and welcome to a brand new vlog. I thought that I would vlog this weekend because I'm actually going book shopping for the first time in ages. Physically, myself, going into a bookshop, it's very exciting. That's happening tomorrow. I'm going to be meeting up with my friend Juliet, who I've done a couple of videos with before actually. We have like a little series where we go and um, look around bookshops in London. Um, I've got like a few videos about this so I will have them linked down below so you can go and watch them if you want to um, and Juliet recently had a baby which is really exciting but I haven't gotten to meet the baby yet she had him last year um, so I'm going to go and meet up with her I'm going to meet her baby we're going to do a little bit of book shopping as much as we can and then just kind of like catch up and hang out together because it's been over a year since I've seen her in person, which is just madness. But today is Friday and work has finished. And tonight we are going over to a friend's house to go and have like a takeaway in their garden. And I'm just getting ready for that right now. Um, In my last video, I talked about the fact that I've got like some really bad acne on my cheeks at the moment. And a couple of people commented and gave good advice, which was really nice, thank you. But also they said that they would love to know what I'm doing about it. Um, Because I mentioned that I had um some stuff that I was planning to do. So. I thought right now, just as I'm kind of getting ready to go, that I would take you into the bathroom and show you some new products that I recently bought um, to try and sort it out. Hello, I'm now in the bathroom. I have you propped up um, inside my like cabinet mirror thing. So I recently bought a pack of products to kind of help with the acne um, because I've been doing some Googling online um, and these came up as um, being really effective. So they are um, this little set from The Ordinary. <laughs> and I'll go through each one of these because that's not very helpful. And they came as a full set and I bought them off ASOS and they weren't very expensive, which is another reason that I wanted to buy them. So for this, you get um, a cleanser here. Um, you also get this, which um, is the one I was most interested in because, um, well, actually the two products I was most interested in, but this one is um, a salicylic acid mask i am not a beauty guru of any kind and um, i watch a lot of their videos and try to follow their advice and then the other product that i was really interested in was this one um and that is um niacinamide but the reason i was most interested in these two products was because this had salicylic acid in it which i'd heard was very useful for people who are struggling with acne and this has zinc in it which again um seems to work really well um on my acne or seems to help a lot anyway and then the fourth little product is this, which is um, the moisturiser. And I actually bought a second one of these as well because it's only a small one um, and uh, I get through a fair amount of moisturisers. So I've only done that like maybe twice. Um, so I guess we'll see how it improves the old acne on the cheeks. On this side, it's not actually that bad. On this side, it is pretty bad. And I mean bad for me, I just don't normally have acne on my cheeks. It's just a bit kind of irritating. It's especially, especially bad up here and then here, obviously, as you can see. There is another product I have been using before this, and that is this one here, and this is Desertin. Now, this product does actually work um, quite well, uh, but it is nappy rash cream. I watched a couple of videos about this of people sort of saying that this works so well because it is full of zinc. And as you can see, I've kind of almost finished this um, this tube. I've got another one coming for me in the post. I haven't actually used this product for a little while because it's actually quite difficult to use. Um, because it's nappy rash cream, it doesn't like <laughs> rub into your skin or get absorbed by your skin. Um, I basically kind of wear it a bit like a mask um, just on the problem areas. Um, and I wear it for like, I try to go for like an hour and a half or two hours and then I wipe it off. Definitely looks really strange when you wear it, but it does actually work for my skin. Even though I'm um, kind of Googling about it, people are like, don't use nappy rash cream to help with acne, but it, but it does help um, a lot. So I don't know. Um, but I'm kind of giving that um, a break at the moment and trying out these products from The Ordinary instead and hoping that they might have either better effect or the same effect. Um, what really works with this apparently is people wear it, putting it on and sleeping in it. Um, but the problem for me is that it, it is like a thick mask that sits on your face. It's like pseudo cream, apart from this, this uh, formula is full of zinc. Um, so... I just couldn't stand the idea of sleeping in it um, and getting it all over my pillow and getting it all over my hair and everything. It just wasn't working for me. So I can only like stand to have it on my face for like two hours or something like that. Um, but I think it's most effective if you can sleep in it. 
but yeah that's that one so i think i'm actually gonna put a little bit of makeup on these areas just some concealer because they kind of annoy me a little bit so i'm gonna do that now and um and then we're gonna head off Good morning. It is the next day. Uh, we had a really fun time last night um, going and visiting um, our friends, which was just really nice. We had pizza. It was delicious. It was great. Um, and I am super excited because I said yesterday, today, oh, next door neighbours are doing some DIY work. So I'll try and talk over that. Today I'm going book shopping with Juliet and I'm so excited, but I'm most excited about getting to meet her little baby, uh, Leon. Juliet is Juliet's library on Instagram. I'll link her down below. Um, she has a fantastic bookstagram, um, which I love. And I'm just so excited to see her and Leon. And um, if we get into some bookshops as well, that'll be really fun. And as you can see, I've gotten so excited that I've like actually dressed up for the first time in I don't know how long. I haven't been to London for six months, so it feels pretty wild. Um, to be heading off into central London, even though I don't live that far away, but um, just been staying in the local area as I'm sure most people have. So yeah, very excited for that. That drilling is really annoying. So I'm glad that I'm gonna be out of the house for this morning. the most wonderful day. I mean, excuse the like horrible kitchen you can see in the background. If you've been following along with my renovation stuff, um, I do it on my Instagram, I'll put it up here if you're interested, um, then you'll know that we haven't renovated this room yet, so it still looks a bit of a mess. But anyway, I had the most wonderful day. It was honestly such a fun day. I loved seeing Julia. I loved meeting Leon for the first time. I loved being in London. The weather was so sunny and nice. It was just, so lovely it was like old times again and um book shopping was great um i've got one book which i can show you a bit later um so right now i'm feeling pretty exhausted now um but in a great way and um we actually got from my sister a delivery of um patty and buns kind of like make it at home style thing um so i'll show you it now so we've got some chips on the go here which we're gonna have with it and um here it is Ta -da. So it came as like a little kit, <laughs> ignore the hoover. It came as like a little kit and um, yeah, we're about to have a go at making this, which should be fun. I love me a burger, so I'm quite excited to eat this. I am exhausted. <laughs> Um, I've had a really, really lovely day though. Such a good day. I was just thinking a second ago, like, this was such a good day. And then this evening has been really lovely as well. Um, we made our burgers using the patty and bun kit and had some sweet potato fries with it, which we burnt a little bit, um, <laughs> as you might have seen, but they still tasted good. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then I did some crochet, uh, which was nice. I'm trying to make like a little toy animal at the moment, so um trying to get myself to do that and whilst i was doing that i was watching um the matt barker or baker never quite sure which one it is um show on channel four where he is like returning to his family farm um in yorkshire and i just love that kind of content that's great um so i was watching episode three and like thoroughly thoroughly enjoying it but now i am so tired i just need to get ready for bed and go to bed and then tomorrow is um my goddaughter's baptism which will be exciting so i'll see you then hi guys um it is sunday it's the next day and um it's kind of about just gone lunchtime now we've had a lovely morning i think i mentioned yesterday that it was our goddaughter's um baptism today um so 
we had that as part of our church service which was really really lovely and it was her birthday yesterday as well so we could give her her presents for yesterday um so it was all in all just a really lovely morning and now we have some kind of like little chores to do around the house because we have my in-laws coming over for um some kind of tea and cake in the garden um a bit later on um and then that's about it and then we're just kind of getting ready for the new working week i'm kind of looking uh in the camera at the same time as well because this is what my acne is looking like now and i think that the lighting right now is um nicer than it would normally be because it's really sunny outside which i'm loving i'm actually getting slightly too hot in this jumper which is really good i'm really enjoying the fa that fact um but anyway um i feel like it's kind of looking better i think when it was really bad i actually didn't take any photos of it i think i was just feeling kind of like not great about around that time but it would have been better if i had taken some photos because then i could have had something to compare to but um even so a lot of it's like quite flat on this side particularly i think it looking really good i mean this side is always the more prob problem side i don't know why my left side everything on the left side of my body seems to be more problem my left side is where i have my bad knee it's where i'm getting back pain lower back pain a lot at the moment as well um i just seem to have a troublesome left side and it's also the side that's most affected by this this hormonal acne um but my right side is looking way better than it has been and maybe that's all down to the new skincare the ordinary skincare so i'm going to keep using that and i'll keep updating you in my vlogs um if you're interested um to kind of let you know how it works out and whether or not it's really good and right now i am about to go and bake some brownies so that we can have them um with tea later so i think that's what i'm gonna do now hello it's much later now i actually meant to do some like little bits of filming of like what i was doing but then um kind of the actual need to get stuff done took over <laughs> um so uh, i didn't manage to capture very much but i made my brownies um had some people over we sat outside it was lovely and sunny which was so nice um then we tidied up and um, got dinner ready. And then at the same time, I was just kind of doing some more crochet again, um, cause I'm trying to make like a little animal at the moment with my friend who's having a baby. Um, and I've done three legs now, got one more leg to go, um, plus some ears. Getting close to being done, but I thought I would show you my brownies because they taste delicious. This is my friend's recipe. I might've already mentioned that. They taste delicious, but they went really mushy. So I think I probably need to leave them in, in the oven a bit longer than the notes say. Um, so I'll show them to you now. Here they are, just a couple of them in here. And as you can see, like super mushy, but really, really tasty. So those went down a treat, which was really nice. And now it is the evening and I'm just kind of winding down a little bit. Um, I was going to show you my book that I bought yesterday, so I'll go and do that now. So I just come upstairs, and the book I bought yesterday was this one, Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. I'm very excited to read this. I love Maggie O'Farrell. She's a fantastic, fantastic author. I haven't read all of her books yet. I'm kind of slowly making my way through um, her backlist of titles and loving it. I'll probably talk more about it in an upcoming book haul, but I bought that from... Waterstones Piccadilly. And excuse the big ladder in the background. We actually went up to the loft earlier. That was another reason that um, things got really busy and I forgot to film stuff um, because we put the loft in here. Well, well, the loft was already there, obviously, but the hatch was like tiny, so you couldn't even like get somebody up there. Um, so we had the, had the hatch made a lot bigger and we're looking to board the loft so we can actually like store some Christmas decorations and stuff like that up there. Um, so we were just going up there to have a look so that's why that ladder's there and i'm not really doing tons more uh to talk about tonight hey guys so i do not know what happened to the end of that vlog um it just seemed to disappear so i am re-ending it now thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a lovely day um if you want to hear any more from me then you can uh, follow my books instagram where i talk about kind of reading and writing um or if you want to know about more house stuff then i think i already mentioned it before in this video but you can follow along on my interiors instagram make sure you go ahead and subscribe if you want to see my next video and that is everything so thanks very much for watching i'll see you again soon bye